Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and... <sighs> Ugh. Morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. Hope my is okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center, ASAP. Later that day. N nick Nick! I... Maya, what am I going to do? I never imagined it'd turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak. And I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. So, you're the master, or something, of the Karain School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is, for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be, someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. Unless... We later find out that the nurse looked nothing like that. But, for now... What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Grey, locked the door, and sat down across from him. I was doing way too deep of a voice for Maya. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began channeling. This is sounding kinda creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And... that's the last thing I remember? What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness... Then... you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. You don't remember committing this murder. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. You did channel a spirit. I'm certain of that. Maya channeled a spirit, and the dream she had was that spirit communicating with her. This story that uh, Dr. Gray supposedly murdered the nurse, that's what the tabloids wanted people to believe. That can't be the actual case. Therefore that 
person we saw in that room was not Maya channeling that spirit. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that scent before. That's strange. I guess this is about all the information I'm gonna gather today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. Huh? But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Well, I knocked over my desk light doing that. To be fair, it isn't balanced very well. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? Sounds like tomorrow? As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait! This jewel... This is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Like the one you wear around your neck? Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you your her spiritual powers. Maya's Magatama. Slightly translucent. It's small. But it has a deep, profound aura around it. Okay, Maya. Back to Karain Village. I have to save Maya no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? Hmm. Meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Channeling chamber. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. Should take this chance and thoroughly check the room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two... Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. She is one scary lady. Oh dear sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? Yes. That man murdered me, so I killed him. Step away there, go, qu go quickly, inform the police. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. Wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. By the way, 
What is this room exactly? The channeling chamber? This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium body, she loses her will and her self steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, <clears throat> I mean, mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that that would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that would be? That folding screen there. It is the Karain Sacred Writings. Along with the Karain Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. Guess this isn't just some old dilapidated screen after all. So, how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Y yes In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. Th that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. That sounds like a motive to frame them for murder. An inferiority complex. Eh, but I can't prove that. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and is the pride of the Branch family. Well, oh, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best you for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? I'm not going to quit saving my friend. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen, looks quite old. Appears to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. Th this is... It's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? The missing bullet. Eight inches off the ground. Huh. That's a weird place for the gunshot to end up. After all... Grey was shot in the head. His back was towards the front door. So that is... The exact opposite way than where a bullet should have gone. Low to the ground, and to be clear, the opposite way from him? Why would there be a bullet hole there? Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave, and time for you to fix your webcam's lighting again. Alright. Please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <sighs> hmm. What about the blood stain? Sight where the medium sits. There are four panels of this flooring. Storing the fo fl flooring feels damp due to humidity. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to this blood. Some empty space behind the folding screen. 
Light of the candles can't even reach back there, so it's completely dark. Hope no one is hiding back there. Presently there might not be, but maybe someone has. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Maybe. Still nothing new to the incinerator. Hmm. Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right? Well, I got, like, three letters at least. Yeah, but they're in the wrong order that I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, yesterday... Uh, oh, I studied this thing called parapsychology. You told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. You should have been, like, more clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like... What was I talking about again? Flutter ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon. It's right here. Um... So, what's up with this box that wasn't here yesterday? Hmm, looks like a box for storing clothes. But it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty. Few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Right. So, why are you still here today? So much to study, like what? Hmm. Mediums inherit spiritual power. She asked to stay here longer. If you heard about the murder, it's totally scary. Do you know anything that might help? Nope. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Wait, I think you asked yesterday about him. That's right, her reaction yesterday when I asked was... You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? <laughs> I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? And what was all that talk about him earlier? Oh, uh, well, uh, like, a long time ago, I was, like, a patient. Yeah. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Pearl, you're back. Figures. Ugh, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. She's still holding that thing in her hand. Same thing she had yesterday. So, Pearl, um, your cousin Maya said, uh, to give this to you. Oh, she's crying. Uh, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one you're channeling. Uh, that's, that's Mystic Myers. Huh? Sh she actually spoke. Who are you? I, I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You're... 
You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? But I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Myers. Special someone. Wh wh what? Sorry, Maya may be technically legal in this game, but um, the age difference is still kind of staggering. You can't just. So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? W well, yeah, I will. Oh, well, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. W what? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this kid? Clearly she knows nothing about love. I, Phoenix Wright, by attorney, have only had two loves that I canonically know of. I mean, one of them it technically, technically isn't canon either, but uh, clearly we all know that Phoenix has something for his uh, childhood best friend. What? Larry? No, I don't mean Larry. Why would I? It's Edgeworth. Look at, look at that man, and tell me that that is not a gay man that Phoenix would be attracted to. Oh well, you actually said that to my face, so that, that's a surprise. If I have read any of your cr <laughs> reactions correctly, then uh, that'd be a first. Anyway. I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. W wait, I, uh, I, I mean, we aren't, things aren't like, <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick, I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Great, um, I'm sure this, it is helpful to you in some way. It's still in training, you don't know anything about it. Shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyway. Um... Are you interested in Karain's traditional things too, Mr. Nick? The Karain sacred writings are on this folding screen. Oh, is that what's written on it? Actually, what caught my eye was this hole in it. It's a very old screen, so I think that maybe Bugs made it by eating through it? Sure doesn't look that way to me. Uh, okay, uh, looking at my badge does nothing. So, uh, you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Ow, oh, had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh. Sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study at the, the Karain Technique. Uh, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um... Depends on your definition of related to. It's kind of like six steps removed, you know? Cause, uh... Spirit channeling comes up in cases sometimes, but, uh, no, not at all. You're telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. 
Absolutely. If you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. I did not get the vibe of refined from this kid. A black key added to the court record. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I can call you r that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this mug of karma? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? A, a blinding flash of light. What? Please, take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Like Eeny Miney, because she's hiding something from me. Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we, when we meet someone hiding a secret. In that case, we will find out Eeny Miney's secret in the next episode. Bye.